What's up? This is Simon back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build, launch and optimize your landing page using Instapage. Now, Instapage is more geared towards the advanced online marketer that's also doing a lot of paid advertising because you can optimize your conversions by split testing different elements of your landing page or even create personalized landing pages for each ad that you're running. So let's say you're running ads targeting people in different locations. What you can do is create a specific landing page for each location so that the people who click on your ads will have the maximum relevancy for what they were looking for. That will increase your conversion rates and also lower your cost per click because Google gives you a much better quality score because people will actually find what they're looking for. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to create your own landing page with Instapage. I'm also going to show you how to integrate your email marketing with Instapage and how to set up your own domain. Then we're going to look at some features like split testing to optimize your landing page. So if you don't already have an account with Instapage, you can use the link down below in the description to get a 14 day free trial with Instapage. So go ahead and set up your account right now and then we'll get started creating our landing page. All right, so I'm now logged into the dashboard of a new Instapage account that I've created for this tutorial. And so this should look pretty similar to what you see when you create a new Instapage account. So to go ahead and create our first landing page, we just go to the left side menu here and we click on landing pages. Then you maybe you see a kind of a button in the middle right here. I just see it on the top. So we just click on create page and then we go ahead and click on start landing page. Then you can either start from scratch so you can choose the blank template um, or you can just go through and kind of um, check out the different templates they have right here. I think a lot of them look pretty professional so you, I, I would suggest you actually go through them. Um, you can also kind of sort them by what your landing page will be about. So what I'm gonna show you how to do in this tutorial is um, how to create a lead generation landing page so I'm just going to go to asset download right here and then I filter out all the landing pages that are specific for um, somebody that wants to give something away for free in exchange for a lead. So in exchange for an email address most of the time. So there's like a, a longer form landing page right there, for example, where we have a lot of information. But to kind of keep this tutorial uh, short, I'm going to just choose a very simple one. So I'm going to choose just this one right here where it's just a title, an image and then the form on the right side. So I'm going to click on select right here and we're going to adjust everything from there. I'm going to name it a YouTube checklist because that's what I'm going to give away. I'm going to give away a YouTube SEO optimization checklist. So I'm going to click on create. And then I have this new um, landing page right here in my landing page list. So I'm going to click on it right here and then I'm going to go to the top right and click on edit design to go ahead and design our landing page. So um, the way um, the landing pages are built within Instapage is with different blocks. So this is one block right there. now. You, so you see this um, kind of blue bracket right here. You also have like a footer block where it says copyright on the bottom. And if you want to kind of build out your landing page um, from scratch, what you can do is go to the left side and click on Instablocks, which is this little plus icon. And then uh, you see a lot of templates for a specific block. So if you want to insert, let's see, a checklist of some key features of your business, you can choose this one or you can do, let's say, an FAQ section or let's say um, pricing, all that kind of stuff you can just insert. So let's say I want to insert a pricing. I click on insert block. And then I insert it on the bottom of this first block right here. I just click on insert block and then it will just add it right here. And here I can just adjust every, every single um, element here. But again, I'm just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to delete this block by going to the three dots on the top left, click on delete block. And I'm, st I'm stuck with this one right here. Um, so let's go ahead and create something real quick. So I'm just going to delete this call to action right there. I'm going to drag it up a little bit, um, highlight everything on the bottom, drag it up. And with Insta page, it kind of snaps in position very easily. So if you want to put something in the middle, so let's say I'm going to um, insert an image right here. So I'm going to click on image on the left side, um, choose this one, which is my lead magnet. If you haven't, um, if you have anything right here, you could just upload it um, from your, um, 
from your computer right here. And then you will see it, click on it, click on um, insert, and then you will have it here on your canvas. You can always adjust the size right there. And if I want to have it in the middle, you can just drag it in the middle and then you see those lines here, it just snaps in the middle. So it's very easy um, to kind of, um, kind of lay out everything. So I actually want to replace this. So I'm going to click on that, click on the kind of trash um, thing here. So it deletes it. Then I'm going to snap it in position right there, make it a little bit bigger like this. And let's actually change the title. So I'm going to name this just um, free YouTube optimization checklist. Then I'm going to change the subtitle to, um, to discover how to optimize your videos perfectly for the YouTube search algorithm. I'm going to also change the size of the font. So I'm going to click on it, click edit, then go to the font size here. And I'm going to choose, let's say 24. Cool. Uh, I can also change like the font. So of, when you go to the right side settings, you can click on fonts and let's say the headlines should be Arial Black. Um, you can also change like the paragraph to, let's say, I'm going to choose Lado, whatever kind of fits your branding here. Now, um, let's actually drag this a little bit up right here and sign up free ebook. Okay, I'm also going to change this to where can I send your free checklist? And then this to um, please enter your email address below to get instant access to this checklist. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, send them the PDF document of this checklist in the first email that I'm sending to them. So I don't want people to be able to download it right here on the landing page, which is something you can do. But I want people to actually go ahead, open my email and then read it and then download the checklist right there. So what I want to do now is I'm going to change the the um, the, the registration form here. So I only want to have name and email. So I'm going to double click on this form and then I'm going to go to the three dots on the right and going to click on delete. The same thing with phone number. Uh, sorry, delete. And then I'm stuck with name and email. Um, work email, I'm going to change that to just email. So I'm going to click on edit, edit and email. Perfect, make it required as well. And I'm going to change the button text, um, click on the button, go to button style on the right side, I'm going to change it the color, I'm going to change the color to uh, green, and the hover color to kind of a light green, change the text to download. And also make this a bit bigger, let's say 22, make also the button size a bit bigger, drag it out a little bit. And um, for the form, I'm going to click on the form right here, um, double click it and then go to submission. And here you can decide if you want to send people to a specific landing page when they enter their details here, or you can just have them um, stay on this page and just give them a thank you message right there. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to just, just say thank you, um, check your, your email inbox so that they know they have to go to, your, to their email inbox and that's the way they get access to this, um, to this checklist right there. If you want to um, have a specific landing page for people to go to once they enter the details, you just click on Insta page right there and then you choose the landing page right here that you've created specifically for, um, for where people have to go to. You can also send them to another URL, whatever you want. You can also click on download right here and upload your file directly to Insta page and then they will be able to download um, whatever you're giving away directly from Insta page. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and drag this a little bit to the top here. So let's say I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. What I can also do is kind of make this a little bit smaller right here and make this snap it to the middle. Perfect. So now what I would highly suggest is that you also optimize your landing page for mobile, especially if you have a lot of traffic from mobile. Um, so you just click on mobile on the top left right here. And as you see, everything's kind of spaced out and it doesn't look right at all. So here's what you want to do is you just want to drag it out. So everything looks perfect on mobile as well. Maybe also make the font size a bit bigger here. Also a bit smaller. Okay, so just make sure you kind of optimize your page for mobile as well. Cool. Then once you are done, we're going to click save right here. And that's how our landing page is going to look like. 
Now we're going to go back by clicking on the top left exit builder. And now we're back inside of our dashboard. So we're going to go to search and social on the bottom here. So to adjust some settings, so click on search and social. And here, what I'm going to do is just change the page title. So I'm going to name it free um, YouTube checklist. And that's what people will see on the top of the browser. So um, this is where you see landing pages, Insta page right here. Um, when people land on your landing page, it will say free YouTube checklist. Um, and then the favicon is also something you want to adjust right now. It's the logo of Insta page. So you see that right here in the bot on the top as well. Uh, I want to change that to um, this one right here because that's kind of fitting to this landing page. So this is the logo that people will see when they visit my landing page. Um, the rest, we can just kind of leave it as it is. So I'm going to click save right here. Um, perfect. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually integrate our email marketing software to Instapage because when somebody goes to our landing page and gives us their information, we want that information to go to our email marketing software like ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit or whatever you're using so that we can then kind of keep sending them emails. So we're going to go back here um, and go to the dashboard and going to click on settings on the bottom left. Then we're going to go to integrations. And what you want to do here is you want to find your um, software that you want to integrate with Instapage. So for me, um, let's say I'm using Active Campaign. So I'm just going to go to Active Campaign, click on it, and then they will kind of give you the instructions on how to integrate it with Instapage. For um, let's say Aweber, for example, you kind of have to click this link here and then you will see the instructions inside of Aweber. But for Active Campaign, um, you just have to copy your API key and API URL right here. So um, I'm just going to show you how to do it with Active Campaign. But if you have another one, just choose the other one. Now, um, Let's go ahead and get our API key and URL. So what I'm going to do is go to Active Campaign. I'm already logged in in my in this Active Campaign account. So I'm going to go to Settings, and um, then once it's loaded, I have to go to Developer right here on the left side, and here's the API access information. So I'm just going to copy the URL right here and paste it here. The same thing with the key paste the key right here. Then I'm going to click on connect on the right side. And now it's already connected. So you see connected integrations active campaign. Now I have to assign that landing page to um, to my active campaign account. So I'm going to go back to landing pages and choose this that I've just created YouTube checklist. And then I'm going to go to integrations on the bottom, click on form integrations, and then choose active campaign. Um, choose the account that I've just assigned, click continue. Then choose your list, your, your email list that, that people will go to, go to continue. Then you can also give those new contacts, those new leads a tag. So let's say um, interest, interest is YouTube, YouTube SEO. So I know that those new leads are interested in YouTube SEO. So I can continue to send them information about YouTube SEO. Um, that will be visible, those, this tag will be visible in your email marketing software. Click continue right here. Um, then you want to assign each form field to um, the information for your email marketing software. So name, the thing that people type in the name um, bar will be just the first name and email will be um, email, obviously. Then click finish. And that's basically it. So now we have integrated um, our landing page to our email marketing software. Now, the next thing you want to do is um, assign your landing page to your own domain, to your own subdomain. So for that, we have to assign, uh, we have to set up our subdomain um, with Instapage. So the way we do that is we go to settings on the bottom left, go to domains. And you see, I already have a subdomain um, signed up here with Instapage. I'm going to quickly show you how to, to do that. So I'm you click on connect domain. And then you have to um, decide on what registrar you or you have to choose the registrar that you have. So for me, I have my domain sitting on Bluehost. So I'm just going to choose Bluehost right here. Then click continue. 
then type in my domain. So that would be maddoxmedia.com. Click continue. And then you can decide on the name of your subdomain. So let's say this would be just content.medicsmedia.com. Um, just type in content, click continue. And then you get the instructions on how to um, set up your, your uh, subdomain with your registrar provider. So for Bluehost, it's just like this. I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do it. But if you have, uh, if you have your domain on GoDaddy or whatever, just follow the instructions that you see here. But with Bluehost, you just go to Bluehost, log into your account right here, go to domains on the left side, then choose the domain that you wanna set up, go to the arrow on the right side, and go to DNS right here, click on it. Then you scroll down to where it says CNAME, and then you just click on add record. And here you just type in content, the name of your subdomain, points to, this is where um, points to, it says right here, it points to secure.pagesurf.co. You copy this and then you just paste it in here. And the total, we just leave it as it is. And then we're just going to click save. I've already set up a subdomain for my Instapage account here. So I'm not going to do that, but you just click save. And then you will see your new subdomain in your Instapage account. You just click continue right here. And then... Um, and then you, you'll you see your subdomains right there. And you should probably be able to kind of connect it right away, but what will take a bit is uh, the SSL. So it will take a couple of hours until your SSL is set up for your campaign. Your SSL is just a lock icon right here in the top left, that it's a secure um, connection. That's what you wanna have on your landing page. So and uh, now that we have set up our subdomain, we're gonna go back to landing pages. We're gonna click on our landing page and then we go to um, to the bottom here where it says publish experience. And then we're gonna go to custom domain and we're gonna choose the domain that we have set up right now. So this is the one that I've already active. So contents.medicsmedia.com. Then you can decide on a URL name. So let's say this is free YouTube checklist. And then I'm just gonna click publish on the bottom right, confirm. And just like that, the landing page is published. Um, you can check it out by clicking on this link right here. It will open it in a new tab. And that's basically how it will look like. Um, again, this is the favicon on the top right here that we have set up. And this is the name. So you see everything works perfectly. This lock icon is probably something that will take a bit of time until you see that for your landing page because the SSL setup takes a couple of hours. Um, so we could type in an information right here now and then it would be automatically imported in our active campaign account that we have set up. That's basically how you create the landing page. Now, a couple of more things I wanna show you here, um, how you can optimize your landing page once you get a lot of traffic. Um, so what you can do is you can split test different elements of your landing page. So you can go to experiments on the left side right here, create a new experiment, and then let's say I wanna split test the title. So I wanna see um, if this title works better than another title. So um, let's go ahead and try and do that. So go to name, let's say split test, split test title hypothesis. So what I want to find out is if title number one is actually better than title number two. Um, choose my landing page, default experience, create. And so now I have variation one, which is this variation that we have just created. Now I can also ch uh, create a new variation. So click on add variation, create variation. I'm just gonna name it variation B, that's okay. And then I'm gonna click edit on the right side. And that once again will open up our editor where we can change different things. So like, again, I wanna split test my title right here. So I'm gonna just change this to 10x, 10x your YouTube, YouTube views. And gonna click save and continue. And now I've created a new variation. So what I have to do now is kind of decide on the traffic split. So let's say I wanna give both pages an equal amount of traffic. So I'm gonna change that to 50%. And another variation also gets 50%. Set that split. Um, and then click on start experiment, start now. And now that the experiment is live, whenever people get to this to this um, URL here, 
Um, sometimes it will show um, free YouTube optimization checklist and sometimes it will show 10x your YouTube views. And then you'll see exactly um, what the conversion rate is for each variation. So how many people actually sign up um, for each variation that you have set up here. And then let's say this is like 50% and this is 30%, then obviously you wanna go for the variation A. So this is how you can optimize, so continually optimize your landing pages. Um, so that's a cool optimization feature they have. Another cool thing is the personalization. So what you can do here is you can um, create specific landing pages to specific ads. So let's say you run Google ads for um, real estate agents. Um, what you can do is if you run ads in let's say Los Angeles, you can say uh, on your landing page how to find your home in Los Angeles. Uh, then when you run the same, the same you use the same landing page for San Francisco, it would be obviously better to have the title how to find a home in San Francisco. So you just change the title for each specific ad and that will um, increase your quality score with Google because Google sees that people will actually stay on your landing page longer because the, the landing page is a lot more relevant because you're giving, you'll be giving them exactly what they're looking for. So that's a very powerful tool as well that they have here on Instapage. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the heat map. So I'm going to show you how what that is. If you go to a landing page, go to the red dots, uh, to the three dots here, click on heat map. And then will, when you already have a little bit of traffic or a bit of traffic, then you see um, where people actually click on the most. So if you have a lot of buttons, uh, maybe if you have a longer landing page, you will see how far people scroll, how where people actually click on, which buttons work well, which buttons don't work well. Um, you can also see where people hover over. Um, so you can just see it right here, mouse movements, uh, scroll depth and clicks. But you don't see anything here because I don't have any traffic yet on this page. But um, I'm gonna show you, um, so this, this is kind of how it looks like when you have some traffic. You see how far people scroll and you also see kind of where people actually click on. So this would be like a, a form field right here. So you can kind of optimize your, optimize your page this way. So that's it for this video. If it was helpful to you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also go ahead and say hi down below in the comment section. And also let me know if you want me to make another more detailed tutorial about a specific part of Instapage. If you're new to this channel and you want to see more tutorials like this from me, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos that I put out. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.